What's going on guys, this is Burrs. I want to talk to you today about checking the safeties on your gun. Now you might have one gun, you might have many guns, it doesn't really matter. What you should be doing throughout the year is actually periodically checking the uh, safety operation on your firearms. And what I mean by that is very simple. Before we get started though, what I want to say is these guns have been safety checked and there is no ammunition in the guns, no magazines, etc. These guns have been cleared before this uh, demonstration. Now what I got here is an AK-74, it's just like an AK-47 or you can do the same exact thing with an AR-50 or any other rifle for that matter. What I'm gonna do is actually, you know, act as though I'm gonna be uh, chambering around. I'm gonna put my safety on, and in a safe direction, I'm going to go ahead and pull the trigger and verify that the safety is operating perfectly fine. Okay, it is not going. When I put the safety down, I hear the hammer, you know, go click, and I have, uh, you know, the hammer being dropped. It is working properly. You can try that one more time, you know. No actuation. I can pull it as hard as I want. The safety is operating as the way it should. As you can see, it's operating, uh, like I said, like it should. Now, as far as with the Glock, it's a little bit different than uh, other guns on the market with the way that the safety is. I'll go ahead and uh, actuate the slide. What I will do is on the side of the trigger is where you can depress it without actually actuating the trigger. Uh, in the middle, that little piece right there in the middle, once that's depressed, the trigger will, will press and go. But, you know, to test out the safety function, you want to go ahead and just pull on those outside edges. And then once you have it in a safe direction, verify that yes, this is in a, in a working order and uh, the safety is working on there like it should. Now with the 1911, it's gonna be a little bit different. Uh, there's two safeties on a 1911 and you're just gonna have to do both of them separately. Um, again, verifying before you go through this process that there's no ammunition in the gun and you've cleared the gun, there's no magazines in it, etc. So you're gonna go ahead and actuate the slide put that thumb safety um, off and then you're going to go and not touch the grip safety and hold this on the bottom and go ahead and actuate the trigger as you can see this is an operating order to test the thumb safety you're going to go ahead and put the thumb safety on actuate the grip safety and pull the trigger now as you can see this 1911 is in perfect operating order because once i put the thumb safety down the trigger will uh, depress and uh, the hammer will drop so as you can see you know this 1911 is in uh, perfect operating order and for people who carry with their safety on it's very very important for you to do that as well as anyone pretty much that has a gun because if you're at the range um, there's you know there's a zillion times you're going to be actuating and uh, you know releasing the, the safety and flipping it on flipping it off when it's on you want to make sure that uh, on and that you don't have any uh, accidents uh, that could occur if you don't take that time and periodically throughout the year just check your safeties and make sure they're working. So if you guys have any questions go ahead let me know. If you guys uh, have a video response to this go ahead and attach that to this video. Always like getting those. Until next time. Can't later. do this. Uh, can't touch it. Uh,